girl China at Queen China Malise YouTube channel. I am back with another hair tutorial video. So today I have so much going on today, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fit this video in in my schedule. Um, I have a wedding to go to and I wanted to do a style with not my natural hair. I just wanted to just have it away and just so I don't have to deal with it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is a natural, is, you know, my natural hair is gonna be out of course on the top, but at the back I'm gonna use some cankalon hair to cankalon, cankalon, however you pronounce it. I'm going to be using that hair and I'm gonna make a nice sleek bun. I washed my hair like a few days ago, so it's not wet or anything, of course, so I'm just gonna, style it while it's at this state and we'll see how it goes so I have a few things that I'm going to be using here today and I'm just going to go through it real quick I don't want this video to be long at all so if you want a more in-depth detailed video on how I actually um, do the buns step by step then request it I'll be more than happy to do it but for right now this is just the basics of how I'm going to achieve this look so what I'm going to be using today is um, Eco Styler Gel. This is the Argan Oil. I'm going to be using this. Usually I use this. Uh, I know. Uh, it's not the best, but it holds hair down. But lately, this has not been holding my hair down if I wanted to do a bun or something. And the only thing that laid my hair down now is Eco Styler Gel, which is by the, that has the Argan Oil in it. So that's what I've been using. So if this doesn't, I don't know. I kind of want to use this, but I'm going to stick with this guy. So I'm, I'm going to be using this, okay? This is what I used to use. Okay, so I'm going to need a brush, of course, so I can make sure my hair is laid down nice and sleek. I need my red wide tooth comb, of course. Then I have bobby pins. For this style, you want to make sure you get the jumbo. Because of how thick the canker long hair is, you want to make sure that it's going to be placed in tight leaf. Uh, next, I'm going to have a hair scrunchie. This is for my hair. Now, I used to use um, rubber bands, but because my hair has gotten so thick, I need something that's going to hold it a little bit better. So, I'm going to be using this. Um... Oh, I have grease. This, of course, is for my scalp because I'm going to have a part right here and it's going to kind of swoop. I want to make sure my scalp has <laughs> a little shine to it. don't want to have a dry scalp, so please get some type of grease. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this is by Softy. Look, about $1.29 at the hair store. Actually, it was a dollar at Family Dollar, your local dollar store. So that's what I got. And then you're gonna need some canker long hair. Now, this is an example. However, ooh, however, this is not the brand that I'm using because if you can see, this is more like thick. And the hair that I'm using is not thick like this. It's, it's still canker long hair, but it's not thick like this. The hair that I'm using, and I actually already have it braided. Uh, I just have to reach over. I'm using this. This is what I'm going to be using. As you can see, this has a little bit of color. The other ones are just black. And I have three of these braided. The other ones are just black. But this is what I'm going to be using. Um, as you can see, this hair is more smoother than the one that I just showed you. So, it's best to get... I don't know the name of the brand. I'm sorry, guys. But once I do find out the brand, I will let you guys know. But I do know that it's cankalong hair. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, one more thing spritz you want to have spritz so your hair can hold because i'm going to have to dry my hair because it's dry already i'm not going to need to stay under the dryer as long as i usually do when it's wet and then lastly i have this and i know you're like oh my god what is she going to do with that thick hair <laughs> this is actually just so i can part the part so you want to get this it's called a rat tail comb okay so guys i'm going to get prepared I'm gonna get my hair kind of detangled and I'm gonna be right back with you guys Thank okay y'all the struggle is so real right now I had to whip my <laughs> I had to whip my hair a little bit because it was just not where I don't even know what I was thinking trying to comb my hair out why it was dry 
so this is what I was doing, y'all. I missed it, and this is what I missed it with. This has um water and olive oil in it. So this is what I missed my hair with. I just did it like that. And just combed it through. Now, I am going through the struggle. But y'all know your girl gonna make it work. So I'm just combing it through. I wanna make sure my my part is nice and straight. So y'all, if y'all don't have this comb with the rat tail for y'all parts, I recommend getting one because it definitely does the job. And I just went and got my nails done. So I hate doing my hair when I just get my nails done because I just feel like I just got my nails done. So <laughs> if you know me personally, then you know exactly where I stand with my nails. So, okay, y'all. So I'm about to mold my hair and get it into a nice, um, sleek back ponytail. And this is what I do. This is how I dip my gel. I just get my brush, put it at the end, and put it on my hand like that. And I'm going to section this. step you just want to make sure your hair is laid down nice and slick and as you can see there is some right white residue coming up but you do not have to worry about that at all it will just dry up it's just the the gel mixed in with the water so that's why it's showing up white but during this step I'm just taking time to really lay my ponytail down and guys if you see that white stuff on my lip it is from Carmex so I do apologize about that I didn't see it until I actually looked at the video after it was recorded so sorry <laughs> back to the video though <laughs> Wrap 
it around, y'all. It's not hard at all. You just wrapping it around once you get the ball part covered. All right, guys, so I also just wanted to mention that I did stay under the dryer for at least 20 to 25 minutes. Again, as I stated earlier in the video, I didn't have to stand her there long because my hair wasn't like wet or anything. So that's why I didn't have to stand her there long. So just a small disclaimer, back to the video. Alright guys, so on this step I did grab a pair of scissors um, because if you see any hair sticking out from the bun from your braid, you want to cut that because you want to make sure your bun is nice and neat. So that's why I was using the scissors. Alright? Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the final look. A nicely bun for whatever occasion. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. And that's the back. And that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and that hopefully it's helpful for anyone that just needs a quick style and don't want to have too much maintenance. So thank you for watching.